and welcome back folks to another exciting episode of Wrath of the Lamb. Looks like the police is after us now. We gotta get out of here. Oh boy. Oh, we're gonna run in this direction I guess. Follow the only road. Hmm. Running away is probably not going to serve as well. There's people coming from the left now. Gotta get over there quickly. So they can't cut us off, I guess. Stop running! I we can. Hey, they're uh, shooting at me actually. Oh, damn. Oh, Christ. Crying out loud. Where is he? Wait. You calling to me will not result me in, in suddenly ceasing running. I think we are I think we're safe now. For the moment being. Is there like a cave or something? Or maybe a valley. We can uh, slip in. Come on. Looks like a valley. Oof. And a manuscript page in the distance. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. Let's pick this up. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh boy. Oh no, the darkness is here. Oh boy. Um Everybody okay in there? Oh um I guess Shabbish Breaker might help us after all in the end. We are gonna explore over here and it seems to be worth it. There's another manuscript page. What do we have? Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper. Her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Yeah. That Barbara, she is something horrible. Right. I guess we can now make our way further. I don't see any dead bodies or otherwise any people near this car, so I don't know what happened there. Right, so this is where the path is going. It's blocked. Okay. Not a big deal. We can simply go the other way. It's uh, it's pretty linear so far. You do have like little side areas, but uh, not really too much branching going on. What? Oh, they're shooting flares. That's fine. May keep away the darkness for a while. 
There's a nice mountain path path right here. Yeah, they are down there. Well, that's no problem. Oh. I don't think we can do anything to help those guys. We, and even if we could get down there, we don't have a lamp. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider, not a monster. Hiking trail. If only we had a flashlight. Come on. Another cop car crashed into the wall. Taken or the darkness itself. <laughs> right, well, at least they are off our tails now. Oh! They just stayed in the shadow there for a moment. I hope that, that serves as well. Won't leave. What the hell? What the hell? The birds are attacking the helicopter and they got it to crash! Oh wow. Oh boy. This is on a much bigger scale than I thought it would be. You know, picking off individual cops I in the forest, that's one thing, but taking down an entire cop uh, helicopter, that's... Uh... Oh boy. Looks like some kind of observation tower, maybe. We could leave here. I don't want to yet. I'm certainly gonna go up there first. What? I can't go under that? Okay, there we go. That looked silly for a second there. Hey, maybe I can look at, at the wreckage. Looks like it crashed near the... near the gas station. Near, near Stucky's gas station. Well, there's some coffee here, so things are looking up at least. What do we have here? Uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton. Come in, over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they were? Hey, what are you doing? Come on, sit down and give me that. Jane Mulligan here, over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that Fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of old scotch about him. You know what I mean? Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All we gonna out. All right. Well, at least Barry is safe for now. I 
could see the lights of the radio station in the distance. Oh yeah. Guess I can. Is that where I want to go? Maybe, I mean, Pat Main did want to, uh, to get an interview. Maybe he can help us. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Yeah. As I thought. Alright. Let us, uh, let us keep moving for now. What the? Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Yeah, I just wanted to test that, folks. I, I really need to. So it hurts me upon touching it. Well, there's bound to be a flashlight around here somewhere then. Has to be. Or maybe a generator, yeah? I don't know. This looks like a generator. Can I... Turn it on. Yeah. There we are. Now we should get some light in here. And some more coffee. So everything is working out fine. Right, there's a there's a the light. Old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Ah, what the hell? What? Something knocked it over. Not a good sign. Let's put on those those lights before something else happens. Right. There we are. Hey, it shorted out. Crap. Would like some some light as backup, basically, but uh, I guess we have to do without. Right, the gate is completely destroyed now, and we can move on. Another one? Okay. Yeah, I got this, I got this. Not a big deal. Hey, we got a flashlight. Excellent. I think we can take care of this ourselves now. Before we do, we are gonna check. There's something back here, maybe. Mm, I don't really see anything. So maybe not. Burn! Gate of evil. There we go. Wasn't too hard. Oh! Almost jumped down there. <laughs> that wasn't my intention. Right. Another cop car. It took me a moment to recognize the flashback grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Really? One, come in. Over. Nobody's Four. around. This is Sheriff Breaker. Report. Over. Team 2, come in. I need a report. Over. Come on, guys. Talk to me. Come in, please. Over. Oh, damn. The fact that nobody... No, no bodies are ever anywhere... That means we're gonna have to fight taken cops soon, doesn't it? Yeah, that's probably it. They did die, and they were in the wreckage, but uh, they were taken afterwards. This is bad, folks. I don't know, maybe the Taken can even use weapons? I mean, they use axes and stuff, but maybe they can even use guns? I don't know. So we'll have to wait and see. I don't have a gun yet. We have the flash flashbangs. Hmm. Okay. 
This looks like it might be a cop. Right, so what do I do now? You go have a flashbang. It takes him out, alright. But I only have, have five left, so I can't really afford to. No, 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 we are gonna jump down here and take a little shortcut. I'm not gonna fight these guys. Oh, no, I'm ducking out of the way. You won't get me. Whoa. Ah, damn it. There you go. Have a little light. Whoa, I ducked. And it still hit me. Come on, get to the light. There we are. Ow! Come here if you if you dare it. Right, let's listen to the radio. Maybe we we hear something new. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milk? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, uh, I'm certainly gonna give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. So I guess nobody called in about the crashed helicopter yet. That's bound to happen soon, too. Oh boy. Lots of them. Tons of them. Yeah, the flashbang. Whoa, ouch, ow. Another flashbang. There we go. Did that take him out? I think it did. Damn, that hurt. This is not good. I, I want to have at least the pistol, would be nice. At least the pistol, but... Got nothing. Oh god. Oh, no, 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 I'm stuck on the friggin' tree. Right, flashbang time. And yeah, that was a good one. I think we got three in one shot. Or one throw, maybe. Ah, oh, that's the moon. Right, let's keep moving. Come on. Oh boy. Oh god, it's three again. Flashbang. Man, I'm so wounded right now. Don't know if I can make it. Let's keep going. This is tricky, folks. Quite intense. There's another cop car over there, probably empty. I'm guessing. And of course, more of them. Oh, here we go. Dodge this guy. Oh, no, didn't dodge him this time. Damn it! Ah, oh, I fell over. Guess we're back over here. We're gonna try and make a run for it because I don't have that many. Well, to be fair, I do have tons of grenades, but. Alright, we're gonna use them. Here you go. Flashbang time. There we are. Oh, one of them survived that. Damn it. Alright, let's keep moving. The one guy hopefully won't uh, catch up to me. Or maybe he will. 
Stop it. Alright, more dudes. Maybe not. I can only stun him every now and then. Oh, he rammed right into me. What the hell? Ow! And more guys. Oh god. Damn, this is tough, folks. This is difficult, actually. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to use my grenades much more liberally. There we are, cop car, right here. Doesn't help me. Oh god, here they are. So disorientating. <laughs> Don't know where I'm going. Uh, I think I'm on the right track now. Yep. Right. What's over there? Something glowing red. Let's get there. This might be a safe spot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the gas station again. Of course we are gonna get cornered by even more of them. Well, here you go. Flash grenade. Got you. Lucky, luckily, Alan himself is pretty resistant, apparently, to, to the effects of a flashbang, which is kind of weird. Uh, uh, uh. No, he didn't take damage there. Damn it. So it's not the. Uh. Ow. I think that took care of that one. Crying out loud. Right, we made it to the radio station. Let's try and get in there. Ah, we're in the light now. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Why, hello, Lorna. What do you have for us? Well, I just don't see why the cops bother with the trailer park. What do you mean? It's a trailer park. Of course you're going to have trouble in a place like that. I mean, what do you expect? The sheriff should be helping us normal citizens instead of wasting resources on those people. Oh, what a bitch. Well... Let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that, uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Anything around here? Coffee, yes, coffee. Right, picking it up. Anything else that might help us out here? Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. No way to run now, Dan Brown! You back away from me! Don't hurt! Whoa, 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 everyone calm down. Put the gun down, we're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there! I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Why the hell is this guy so obsessed with me? Crying out loud, he's, he's outright murderous. Hey, manuscript. 
Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. You deserve all the humiliation you can get. Look, a train. Choot choot. Okay, well, let's keep moving. Still don't have a gun. This is... this is pretty bad. Right. And more policemen. Well, time for another flashbang. We only have one left now. Oh. At least we got a flare. Oh, yes, yes. Turn it on, quickly. Come on. Yes. No! Yes. Alright. Now you can't get, get me, can you? And there's a revolver here. Alright. Phew. Okay. Well done. I think we got this now. We got something to defend ourselves with. It's not as good as the shotgun or the hunting rifle, but it's certainly gonna help. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's three again. I'm gonna drop my last flashbang to take him out. There we go. Three for the price of one. That's uh, that's okay, I think. Oh boy. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lines to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. No, 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 let me out of here. Damn it. Use the flare! Use the flare! Whew, I got stuck there for a moment and thought I would die. Right, there's the last one. Oof. They turn it off again? There we go. Maybe it's on a timer? I don't know. It helped me out immensely here. Right, let's keep moving. Oh, there's something. The darkness controls the Taken. Yeah, I figured as much. Shotgun! Excellent. Not as good. Let's turn this on. Come on, turn it on. There we are. Now get into the light. What the hell? Flashbang! No! He knocked me down before I could throw my flashbang. Tough, folks. Pretty tough. We gotta turn on this light maybe before we go into the. Yeah, let's do this. There we are. And all of them spawn immediately. What? One hit? Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, sorry about that folks, I guess this takes a little bit longer than I thought it would. In light you can hurt them, yeah, I figured as much, but uh, it doesn't help me too much right now. Not when they can kill me so easily. Right, let's uh, get out of here. Okay, flashbang. Come on. Right, there we go. Now let's turn this light back on. Right. Alright. 
think we've sorted this out now. Nice light effects right there. Right. Let's look around some more, maybe there's some more ammo like there, yeah. Might help us here. What? I only wanted to switch the weapon, not fire it. Uh, whatever, it's just one bullet. Let's turn this one on as well while we're exploring over here. Ooh, what's back there? Looks like another manuscript page. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Sounds like another mini boss is gonna come up soon. Oh wait, do I have to go through here? Is that the main path to go actually? No, that's fine. Let's check out that other little shack back there. See if there's maybe coffee there or something. There we go. Coffee. The wind is still worrying, to say the least. Let's I can go down here or follow the main path. I'm, I guess I, I have to explore here first. The more likely area for little goodies to be, I suppose. Or is it? Oh no, I'm just walking backwards, aren't I? Crap! Get into the light, dude. Quickly. Right, we're, we're back here now, which is just bad catch our breath and then uh, make our way back and follow the main road instead. There we go. There we go. At least the enemies that spawn here for no reason appear to be easier enemies. You know, the, the ones that respawn? I think they respawn. At least those seem to be the weaker variety, not the not the ones that take too many bullets at least. Right, so we're gonna follow the main road I guess, which should be this direction. Hmm. I have plenty of batteries, but my ammunition count could be a bit higher. Oh well, let's keep moving for now. See where this is going, another manuscript. Page right here. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. <laughs> We got another train going there. That's fine. Looks safe for now. Get some more ammo. Yeah. Very good. I think we're gonna pause the video here and continue from this spot in the next one, folks. So, see you then.